Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 29th. So we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Wednesday the 29th, but you know, the timing is fluid. And so, you know, I'm saying it's for the 29th, but, you know, there are no clocks, right? And I don't know why I'm flipping. These are This is going to be upright. This card is going to be upright. I'm, I'm telling the universe that right now. So whatever card comes out, we're going to take it upright. Um, these, if they come out reversed, we will we will take them reversed. Anyhow, um, this may or may not be for you. We're just going to see what comes up. Angel of Balance. I had a dream about this card the other day. This was a couple days ago, though. That I actually something happened with this card. <laughs> I can't exactly remember it, you know, because you can't remember your dreams. But I remember this specifically. Um, this is balance being restored. Now, it's the answer to your prayers. It really is. It it converts to a three. This is mind, body, and soul union. Okay. Um, some sort of balance and harmony is is being restored. They're giving you a little bit of help to bring balance back to your life. Hmm. If you think about balance, when I think about balance, I think about the justice card. So it's like justice being served. Something, something is, is coming. Maybe, maybe there's... Yeah, I don't know what's happening. You're receiving something. I don't know what it is. Could be peace. Could be harmony. You could be at peace. You could be at harmony over a situation. Maybe they've, they've, you know, given you the gift of peace. Peace of mind. Mm. Three of coins. Judgment reverse. There's been some self-loathing, right? There's been some self-loathing. There's been some self self-doubt. There's been a lack of awareness. Somebody may have been refusing to wake up, refusing to accept the truth of a situation. Seriously. But now this is making compromises. This is communication. This is teamwork, working together. Putting in effort, putting in effort to do something. We're going to get a bunch more cards. Maybe somebody's putting in effort to accept. Now, this is releasing. And this is a card of forgiveness, but it's reversed. So there could be a lack of forgiveness and somebody is unable to release, you know, and maybe now somebody is deciding to put in some effort to forgive and release. That will bring peace of mind. Ace of Swords. This is acceptance. So we go from non-acceptance to acceptance. This is the truth. This is... Uh, the raw truth, this is taking back your power, this is the sword of power. You know, this is a transformation of some sort. We have somebody here that is, is going through a transformation. It's, it's like I'm taking my power back in my own hands. You know, if you look at, look at these dandelion things that have passed, when you blow on them, you make a wish. So it's like maybe somebody has wished for peace or they've wished for absolution and they're, they're getting their, it's like your prayers have been heard. A wish is being granted. When I see these, I, I mean, that is making a wish. I mean, it really is. When you blow on that thing, you make a wish. At least I always did. I still do. Anyway, um... 
This is a new idea. Somebody's got this new thought, this new approach, this new idea. I'm going to put in effort to release. I'm going to put in effort to accept. Justice. We just talked about this. There's been an injustice. There's been some unfair treatment. There's been a lack of balance. Now somebody is definitely putting in effort with the three of coins and the eight of coins, putting in effort, working harder, you know, really trying to bring balance back to their lives. We have somebody here that is putting in effort, whether it's you or it's somebody that you're dealing with. It's like somebody, this is the sort of communication as well. And this is communication. So somebody could be receiving communication from somebody that treated them unfairly. Somebody that didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Now, these are both cards of karma. They're both reversed. This is a card of karma. This is a card of karma. Somebody has experienced some bad luck, put it that way. Some karma. Some karma. Some bad karma. Some negative karma. Because of their actions. I feel like somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They haven't been telling the, the truth. Somebody has been lying or something like that. Now we have somebody that is wanting to work together. They're wanting to put in effort. Maybe they're coming to tell the truth. Or this could be just somebody that is deciding to accept the truth on their own. This is acceptance. Or speaking the truth. So, you know, somebody could be coming, putting in effort to speak the truth, or somebody is deciding to accept the truth without, you know, receiving it. Six of coins. This is receiving. This is receiving. This is somebody giving to a situation. This is a card of generosity. This is reciprocation. This is receiving. Somebody has received some karma. No joke. It's going right under here. For their unjust ways, whatever. Well, you get what you give, right? You, you, you reap what you sow. So, yeah. That's the way it goes. Somebody is receiving something. They have somebody's received some karma for their previous unjust actions, whether it's you or the other person. Seven of Swords. There's been some betrayal. There's been some deception. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. That's all there is to it. Ooh, definitely. With the moon card. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Somebody's been hiding the truth. They've been it's been they've been keeping it a secret. And it hurts. It hurts. Look how sharp that that and that sword is. It's it's. There's a hurtful deception here. Put it that way. Somebody. There's something going on. There's something going on behind the scenes that you just don't see. There's something below the surface that is about to be revealed. Right now, it's still hidden. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. You know, think about the moon card. The moon card is ruled by the shadow. It's ruled by the unseen. What you see is not what you get. 
You think about the shadow. If you were to make, you know, do your shadow somewhere, you know, on the wall. And what 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 comes out on that wall is not what your hand, okay? It's whatever it's perceived to be on the wall. It's completely different. So we got somebody here that has been projecting themselves to be something that they are not. There's definitely been some sort of lie here. Somebody's been lying. That's all there is to it. Now we got some communication coming in. We definitely have some sort of fast forward movement. Rapid change is on the horizon. Something is about to be revealed. Somebody may have had some sort of awakening. Now they want to work together. Now they want to put in effort. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe an angel did this. Maybe somebody from above has brought somebody some sort of clarification. You know, they've brought somebody some sort, they've given somebody a message, whatever. I don't know. Here's, this is the imbalance. Now we have somebody that is coming in to balance a situation. You to, and this is balance as well. To bring back peace and harmony to a situation. Page of Cups reversed. <laughs> Lack of emotion. We have somebody here that has been hiding their emotions. Hiding their feelings. Interesting. Very interesting. But now we have somebody who wants to put in effort. They're going to be communicating. They're, they want to give to the situation. Moving forward very, very quickly. We got somebody here that is putting themselves in the driver's seat and they're headed. They're headed. It's like they're replacing that fear. Taking the lead. I am I'm mastering my emotions and I'm not going to let fear get in the way. Somebody is moving forward very, very quickly. Taking back control. We definitely have a transformation here. Somebody is changing their direction. And this could happen overnight. They could get some sort of epiphany overnight. Yeah, now somebody is seeing the truth. They've been, they were avoiding the truth. And now it's like they're ready to speak the truth. They've been blocking their emotions. Seriously, somebody has been blocking their feelings, blocking their emotions. And this blocking of emotions has caused great emotional turmoil, mental turmoil. And it's like they can't hide it anymore. They can't. They can't. Painful. There's been a painful separation. This is the Three of Swords. This is painful. I think we have somebody here that has been suffering. They've been suffering because this person, somebody has turned their back. We got somebody here that has been experiencing some, some heart pain. And it's like now he's ready to take, somebody is ready to take their power, take that power back. It's time. It's time for me to take my power back. It's time for me to speak the truth. That's the sort of truth in this person's hand. They may have been in denial. They may have let fear get in the way. Worry, doubt. Because there's a lot of self-doubt. There's a lot of self-loathing. We have somebody here that was refusing to accept the truth, no doubt. And now they want to give to a situation. It's like they've found the mental strength to master their emotions. They're going to communicate. Somebody's going to communicate. After they've been blocking the truth for so long, it's like 
Like you can't, they can't deal with this pain. It's too hurtful. It's too painful. This is painful. The Three of Swords is painful. Two of Cups. This is love. This is love. This is the union that is meant to be. Look at their hands. This is this is this is it. This is unity. This is compatibility. This is a potential soulmate. Somebody wants to bring harmony, peace, and balance back to a connection. I think that they were hiding their true feelings. And now they want to put in effort. And I think communication is going to come in. Rapid communication. Honest, truthful communication. I feel like they, that the truth can no longer be hidden. Somebody treated another person unfairly. And it has weighed them down heavily. It has weighed them down. And the only way that they can... <laughs> feel peace is to communicate their truth so be prepared I feel like we have somebody here that has given great thought to a relationship and they have been losing sleep they have been suffering and they can't they can't hide it anymore they can't that's what it looks like to me Somebody is moving forward. They may be traveling. They may be going. You know, they may get in their vehicle and just go to bring balance to this situation. Yeah, somebody is, is headed in headed. They're headed. That's all I keep I keep think, thinking is headed. I'm headed. I'm headed. I'm on my way. So, there is, there is potential. Well, there isn't, there's more than potential. I mean, there's communication. This is fast forward. Somebody has been suffering, and they're, and they're ready to take, take the reins. It's like, you know what, I, I, I'm moving. These are the rods of love, right, connected, I mean, to this two of cups. This is love. And they may have been in denial. This is a card of denial. But this is coming out of denial. Can't hide it. It's time to take that next step. Somebody wants to bring balance and harmony back to, to the situation. No joke. This is all about balance and harmony. I, I want to fix this. Somebody is, is ready to, you know, adapt. Somebody made a poor decision and now it's like they're, they want to fix it. Mm. There's been a tower moment. There's been a rude awakening. Somebody has received a rude awakening. There's been some major upheaval. There's been some sort of disruption in their life that has caused them, I think, to wake up. This is destined change. This is this is a change, okay? A faded change. Fate has probably stepped in and removed something from somebody's life so that they could build a stronger foundation someplace else. Somebody's got a rude awakening. And 
they, they now they want to work on a foundation. They want to work on rebuilding. They want to work on a partnership. This rude awakening. And somebody ha they tried to deny it. Somebody, somebody really didn't want to accept the truth. But it's like the universe says, oh, yes, you have to. You know, this is a universe card. It's like the universe says, it's time. It's time to rebuild. Somebody is, is, is seven of wands. This is, this card doesn't make sense to me at all. Anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, I know what the card means by general tarot rules, but this, the picture on the card just doesn't, I, when I look at this card, it doesn't make sense to me. Um. It's got a bunch of cups on it. Anyway, it distracts me. Somebody has been distracted. That's what it is. Somebody has been distracted. By some sort of illusion. I know it's seven of wands, but those freaking cups, they get me every time. By illusion, by thoughts. Not seeing a situation clearly. Somebody has been protecting themselves... And now it's now and now it's like they, they it's time it's time to fight for what they want you know not to fight for it to go after what they want to go get the goods face their fears I think we have somebody here that's about to move in a new direction. I think it's it's a, they've received some sort of awakening. It's a rude awakening, okay? They re received some sort of rude awakening or some sort of shock. You know, maybe, they, maybe, maybe they've had some sort of shock or they've had some sort of, I don't know what, disruption in there. Maybe it's internal disruption. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe internally they've, they've been really, um, shaken up by some sort of circumstance that has hurt them. Maybe they didn't expect to feel. Maybe they didn't expect to feel this connection. Or they didn't expect to care, you know. But they do. So anyway, I feel as though we have somebody here that is about to put in effort to a partnership, okay? The Eight of Coins or the Two of Cups and the Eight of Wands. We have somebody here that is about to put in effort, like really, somebody that really wants to work on a partnership after there's been some sort of unfair treatment, there's been some pain involved, there's been uh, miscommunication, there's been deception, somebody's been avoiding their true feelings, they've been you know, hiding from their emotions, blocking their emotions, and trying to control things. And it's like letting fear get in the way. Um, somebody's been in denial. They've been lying. And now they want to give to a situation. There's, this is a new idea. Somebody's got this new idea, this new thought, this new epiphany. That's what we got here. It's like somebody's had some sort of awakening that, you know, I got I to gotta fix this, whatever it is. Um, there is love here. There is love and there is compatibility. This is a, this is a beautiful connection. It really is. And I think we have somebody here that's that that's, that wants it. I gotta go. I gotta go get it. 
I got to stop protecting myself and go get it. So I don't know who this reading is for. Um, somebody is about to receive. Somebody is about to receive something that receives some sort of communication from somebody that is looking to move forward with them. No joke. Somebody is wanting to bring victory and success to a connection. They are. These two are marrying each other. Somebody is finding, they're finding their discipline and their willpower and their courage and their strength to go after this connection, a connection. It's like you can't avoid it. It's unavoidable. Somebody may have been trying to avoid it, but you can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. So, I don't know who this reading is for, but somebody is going to receive communication. Somebody is ready to take that next step. We've got somebody here that is, is ready to be flexible, you know. It's like they're ready. They're ready. They're ready for change. It's like they've got some sort of epiphany that, you know, i gotta take, I got to take my power back. Or i got to communicate the truth. I can't live this. I can't live this way. You know what I mean? There's been an injustice here. There really, really has. Is this new love? Brand spanking new if you are single? Could be. I mean, we got somebody coming in very quickly. We got communication coming in quickly. We got somebody could be arriving very quickly. They could be driving to you very quickly. You know, arriving in some sort of vehicle. If you are single, you could have somebody that starts communicating with you in things like happen really, really, really fast, okay? Because this is fast movement, very fast, fast forward movement, okay, if you are single. Um, if you are coupled, I mean, if you are coupled and there's been some sort of argument, there's been some sort of painful separation, you know, there's been some sort of whatever it is. There's been some sort of upheaval. Or there's been some sort of disruption in the connection. You know, I think we got somebody here that is is ready to fight for it. They're ready to, you know, face their fears and, and do something. You know, put in effort. They're ready to do whatever it takes, put it that way, to protect this connection. So, um, so somebody is going to put in some serious effort, seriously, after being dishonest, being dishonest, somebody's been being dishonest, that's all there is to it. So be prepared, be prepared, get prepared, if this reading is for you, that somebody is moving forward very quickly in a new direction. And I think, I mean, this has to do with an arrival. I think something is arriving, okay? Let's get a couple of these. They could be coming with a gift. This is giving. You know, they could be coming with some sort of gift. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This is a strong attraction. It absolutely is. And one more card. Somebody's been blocking their emotions. They have. They've been blocking a love connection because of fear. And it's like now they're they're ready to replace that fear. They are. They're ready to replace that fear and, and, and fall in love, whatever it is. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And this is forgiveness, period. I don't like that parents thing. And that remember there's been a lack of forgiveness. So I think there's there's some healing going on here. Your love life benefits as you forgive. 
chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. There is. I think there is. It's going to be a strong magnetic attraction that is going to lead you in a new direction or it has led you in a new direction and it's undeniable. So there's an undeniable connection here that you really can't avoid and somebody has been trying to avoid it and trying to avoid it has caused major internal disruption. There's probably been some tears, there's been suffering, there's been heartache, and it's undeniable. So we got somebody here that's ready to take that next step. So I hope this reading is for you. Good luck. I am working on private readings for the rest of the night, well, for the next hour or two. If you are on the schedule and yours that doesn't get done tonight, get done tomorrow um, night. Um, I do have a few to do. And if uh, you want a private reading, I am out until... Well, July 26, July, not July, June, June, June 26, June 26, okay? So, so yeah, it's a month out. But patience, you know, you, you, there's a reason why I'm out to June 25th, put it that way. All right, talk to you later.